Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this Cuisinart Griddler. This is a five-in-one griddler for indoor use. I'm first gonna show you the product and kind of explain how it works. Then I'm actually gonna cook some hamburgers on it and see how it does. Here's everything you get in the box. You get like a scraping tool, like a cleaning tool. It also comes with a very nice manual. Lots of pictures. Okay, so we've got three controls, but the middle one is a selector. You're either gonna select the griddle which is gonna use this thermostat, or you're gonna switch it over to the grill and panini. Then you're gonna use this thermostat to control the temperature. You can go warm, low, medium, high, and sear. And then you've got off. And when you're in griddle, you've got 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 425 degrees. Now what makes this product so neat is, is when you lift it up, I can lift this, I can tilt this handle at the 90 degree position, but if I push this little button here, I can lay it flat. And then what's also neat is these surfaces come up. There's a release button right here. See how that's a grill on one side? If I flip it over, now it's a griddle. I can do pan, I can do like eggs. That's a really flat, non-stick surface. And this part is dishwasher safe. I can take this off, put this in the dishwasher. There's the heating element. I have the exact heating element on the top side too. Again, there's a release button. And again, this is reversible. I can do that, or I can do a grill side. Both of these can go in the dishwasher, and I have a heating element on both sides. They go in very easy. Just put it there and just snap it. Same with this. You're gonna kinda, there's little grooves there, and snap it. And then I can, I can also use this as a panini press, or I can put hamburgers in here. If I want the hamburgers to get done quicker, I'll use it like this, like sandwich the hamburger in here and it'll get done quicker. But I can also cook hamburgers like this. I can also cook hamburgers like this, but then I've got to flip them. Now you'll notice it is a little sloped. That's because a, a, gris, a, a grease drip is right here on both of them. So the grease is gonna collect on here and it's gonna flow down here. And it's gonna come out this little area right there. Now why that's important is back here, the grease is gonna drip down into the grease drip tray. And then on the right side, this is the grease drip tray you're gonna take out. This is dishwasher safe also. And when you put it back in, you'll see it come back all the way back there to the back. Here's what the back side looks like. It seems very well made. It's got this nice handle. And then when I'm using it as a, like a putting hamburgers here, this does swivel so that I can put a piece of hamburger, big meat in here and it'll kind of swivel on top of it or a sandwich. Or I can lock it in place and just use half of it. But I think the best feature is being able to take these off and use those in the dishwasher, clean them up really nice and being able to turn them over that you can do like eggs on them. So they call that the grid, the griddler, the griddle side. This is the grill side. This is the griddle side. So if you're going to do like eggs, you may want to use like a temperature, like I'm going to cook my eggs on 250 or 300. But when you're using the griddle side, the grill side, you're going to put the selector over here when you're using this. Here's what the bottom side looks like. It's got these rubber feet, very nice rubber feet. And it's 60 hertz, 1,500 watts. So for storage wise, you need about almost 12 inches by about almost eight inches. And front to back, you're looking at about another 10 inches. And as far as the cooking surface, you're looking at right around 11 inches by almost, uh, almost nine inches. And you can double your cooking surface. When you lower this, that doubles your cooking surface. So I can have things going on both sides of this. But when I'm using it like a press or like to put a hamburger on, you only have one surface you're using it basically for. And this little handle here, this is the release. So normally when you open it, it's gonna stop right there. But if you wanna go past, just lift that up and it does stay on, on the handle now. One thing to look out for, just be careful you don't, these are release buttons. So anytime you hit those, it does release those. It's got a two prong cord. The cord is three feet long and you can wrap the cord around this right here for storage. So it does have a nice place to wrap the handle, to wrap the cord around. 
Okay, so when you first plug it in, there's no, make sure the selector's in the off position. When you turn it to the griddler, you'll see a red light come on there or the griddle side. And again, depending on where the selector is, this is the thermostat you're gonna use. This is the selector. And when I'm over here, I'll use this one. Okay, so I'm gonna use, let's make sure I've got, yeah, I got the grill on both sides. Now I'm gonna turn it to the grill position and I'm gonna do high, medium to high. Now, no matter what you have the position in of the switch, either the griddle or the grill and panini, it heats both sides of the grill. It's just, this determines what select, what the thermostat it's gonna use, this one or this one. And both the top and the bottom plates cook at the same temperature. So no matter where you, if you've got this on high, both the top cooking surface and the bottom cooking surface will be at the same temperature. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. It's coming up to temperature where we're around 450 degrees. So the red indicator light on that one indicates that the power is on. When the green light comes on, that means you've reached your, your temperature that you've selected. So now my green light is on. I can see I'm right around 500 degrees. Okay, so I put the hamburgers on. Like I said, I'm gonna use it like this. I'm gonna cook it that way. So it cooks from the top and the bottom. It'll cook faster this way. Okay, so it's been cooking for just a little bit. Let's take a peek. It's Miss Fiona. So we can see we're starting to get some grease off the hamburgers. So none of the grease has made it back this far yet. You do get some kind of smoke and steam coming off of the hamburgers. Again, let's open them up, take a look. Yeah, those look really good. Okay, so we are starting to get some grease in the back there. It's starting to head back towards the drip tray. And so the green light may turn off, but when it gets back up to temperature, it will turn back on. Okay, so the grease is starting to make its way to the back for the drip tray. So I'm checking the temperature of the hamburger. Inside the hamburger right now, it's 145. And the thermometer says it should be 160. So it's been about seven minutes now. We're starting to get a lot more kind of smoke coming off the griddle. Here's what they look like. Let's just take a look. We can see yeah, the grease is all collecting towards the back. It's starting to head towards the drip tray. Okay, so it took about seven and a half, eight minutes. I checked the internal temperature of the hamburgers. They are all done. Okay, so I like the hamburgers don't seem real greasy. It seems like most of it came off. I'm gonna put some more hamburgers on here and we're gonna see how it does. So I cut one of the hamburgers open. It cooked it all the way through, about seven and a half minutes. Okay, so I really loaded it down this time. I put a lot, I put five hamburgers and there's varying thicknesses of the hamburgers. Something I'm noticing is there's, there's a little bit of splattering on the counter, but not a bunch. And so even with all those, the grease really isn't flowing down to there yet. It's getting close. So I am noticing that if the hamburger is off to the side a little bit, it doesn't cook it. It does kind of cook in the kind of the center area. So what's nice about this big handle is if you want to kind of, you can use the handle to kind of smash the burgers if you want. Kind of give them a little flatter surface. I put this piece of paper here just to see if I'm getting any splatters. It's, it's very minor splatters, very small. Okay, so we're starting to get some of the grease come back here, starting to come off into the drip tray. It looks like the drip tray and where it's located is doing a good job. Okay, so I smashed these again. When you do that, you do tend to get a few more splatters. But when it's just sitting there, it doesn't splatter very much. But when I press this down, I did get a few splatters around. Again, let's see how it's doing. There's the cook surface. All the grease is flowing towards the back. So I've been really checking, seeing how the drip tray is doing. I don't get anything dripping off the top one when I lift it. So when I lift it, but everything does seem to go out the bottom of that drip tray. Okay, so I'm all done. I'm gonna turn the selector to off. 
the red light goes out. I can take my hamburger off now. Now you've got to let the griddle cool before you touch these plates. These things are really hot. Okay, so the cooking surface is cooling down. We can see everything is starting to go to the back. Here's how the top did. So I'm using this too soon, but the, the no stick surface seems, yeah. That no stick surface is really good. And this is the tool I'm using. But again, you should definitely wait for it to cool. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. I've waited 30 minutes. Everything's cooled off. They're still a little hot, but you can touch them. It's about 107 and this one is about 87. And now that's where the scraper is gonna come into play. It's got just the right amount down there. So everything does come off of this. Pretty easy. Things do stick to it a little bit more. Okay, so again, there's a release button right here. Just release it. This comes off now. I did the same down here. There was a there was a release button right here. Just release it. Okay, so I scraped off the chunks, but what the, the nicest part is going to be is being able to put these in the dishwasher. So again, I got, the, I got the chunks off of this, but being able to put this in the dishwasher. So there, you can see they're a little bit bigger than a plate. They take up a little bit more room, but nothing too much. Okay, so let's take a look around them. So the knobs, they, need, they got a little bit of splatter on them, not too much, but down here, there's no mess, no mess. On the outside of the machine, no mess. All right, let's look at the drip tray now. Okay, there's our grease. So the drip tray worked really well. And I can put this in the dishwasher too now. So all in all, I'm very happy with the purchase of this. I thought it did really well. It's definitely a lean way of cooking. Um, those hamburgers felt really healthy. Um, they tasted really good. And it was very quick. But the best part about it is I do like the cleanup. Now, I will try sometime putting the lid down and uh, cooking some eggs on one side and some, and some um, bacon on the other. Really happy with this purchase. Thanks, everybody, for watching.